I can honestly say I don't know if I'm doing this right. What's up, everyone? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. We've obviously got some dancing today and some Chris Breezy to get you dancing as requested by wide receiver Dax Milne. Let's go. We are two short days away from game day. Our Cougs take on Louisiana Tech on Friday in Lavelle Edwards Stadium. There will be no fans in the stands like Saturday's game, but despite Cougar Nation not being able to be there, I did hear that some Cougar legends still managed to make an appearance. Dax, congrats on Saturday's win. There weren't any fans in the stadium, obviously, but I did hear there were some cardboard cutouts of fans. Did you get to see any of those? Uh, yeah, I think I saw Mitt Romney up there, Taysom Hill. Just glad they were there to make the game. I know, big fans coming, coming in for you guys. If you could yeah. pick any BYU player to be one of those fans in the stands, who would you pick? That man, uh, John Beck. Just He's a pretty historical guy here. so Yeah, a classic. Cool. A classic. If you could pick any yeah. pro athlete that's your favorite, who would you pick? Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd for sure go with uh, Odell Beckham. I think that'd be cool seeing him up in there. <laughs> what about a celebrity? Actor, singer, anyone? Chris Brown. Chris Brown, Chris Brown. Breezy. Yes. All right, Some I like that. There, yeah. Dax wants a little bit of Chris Breezy. In honor of his breakout game, let's give the man what he wants. Dax isn't our only Coug who had an outstanding game, though. We've got plenty more awards and rankings to get to. Let's start with QB1. Zach Wilson has been getting a lot of attention lately, and his incredible performance on Saturday night, throwing a career high of 392 yards, only adds to this. Davey O'Brien has named him to both his mid-season watch list and his National Quarterback Award Great 8 list. He has also been added to the Manning Award Stars of the Week list, but... It doesn't end there. Sports Illustrated's Pat Ford said in his two early Heisman watch, the Cougars have been a big play offense, and that starts with Wilson. He's the only QB averaging more than Trevor Lawrence's 11.04 yards per play, checking in at 11.31. Is it too early to be making Heisman projections? <laughs> yeah, probably, but still fun to think about. Another player that's been getting major attention is offensive lineman Brady Christensen, who has been named to Pro Football Focus's National Team of the Week. Way to go, Brady. And of course, recognition for the entire team being nationally ranked number 22 in the nation. Look, I was just happy to actually have football, but to have football and be doing so well, we're just making the most of 2020. Now that we've recapped some of the highlights and the awards, let's get into some of the whack moments that had us going, what was that? What? Look, it doesn't feel like a true BYU win until the victory dance moves come out. And well, they did. In fact, if you ask me, the guys took it to a whole new level. It's common to ask the players to break down a play, but I actually want to break down those dance moves. Isaac? I do the Cabbage Patch, and all of a sudden, the announcers, everyone's blowing me up, saying I'm the worst dancer ever. Why would you, why would you pick the Cabbage Patch, the oldest dance in the book? <laughs> do something hip? Okay, well, I'm listening to my coach. I'm being obedient to my coach and trying to follow his, his counsel. And then I'm also just, trying to, you know, have some fun. So everyone was kind of roasting me, but I kind of liked it and it was fun. And, you know, I'm going to keep doing it. I don't want to listen to haters. I'm going to keep uh, cabbage patching. All right, you keep doing that. The real question is, is he going to continue to keep high-fiving the ref? The tight end, Isaac Rex. I don't think that's what the ref was going for, but I'm here for it. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go and give us the follow, and I will see you guys Friday. Keep the dancing going. How about the Chris Brown? Hey.